The numeracy screener is a two-minute paper and pencil test. For senior kindergarten, it's actually four minutes. It consists of two uh, uh, sections, a symbolic section and a non-symbolic section. The symbolic component of the test consists of pairs of digits or pairs of Arabic numerals. So these are symbolic representations of number. And here the child has to cross out which of two numbers represents more. So in one and nine it would be the nine. The non-symbolic version of the test consists of groups of dot arrays and the child has to cross out the larger of the two arrays of dots. We took these two versions of the test because we know from a long line of literature that even animals and very young infants are sensitive to non-symbolic numerical quantities. And over developmental time we learn symbolic representations of number that are the outcome of cultural history. So we wanted to tap into both of these systems and to also allow the testing of children at a very early age where their non-symbolic representations and their ability to compare non-symbolic magnitudes is stronger than their ability to compare symbolic magnitudes. Because we found in a number of studies now that how well children perform on this basic two to four minute paper and pencil task is correlated with and predicts individual differences in their arithmetic abilities. So if you're good at these types of number comparisons, you have a good understanding of numerical quantity and how numerical quantity relates to symbols. That sets you up for high level learning, such as learning to do arithmetic and then even higher level skills. The numeracy screener was designed by my former PhD student Nadia Nosworthy who is now a professor at Andrews University in the United States. Nadia for her PhD not only designed the numeracy screener but also tested large group of children from kindergarten through to third grade on their performance on this test. What she found is that their performance improves over time and most importantly that individual differences in performance on this test that is how well children did on this simple paper and pencil test correlated with their math performance so their performance on standardized tests of arithmetic for example their performance on a test of how fluent they are at calculating basic addition and subtraction problems so the numeracyscreener.org allows you to do a number of things. First of all, it allows you to download the numeracy screener test itself, print it out or order it. You can choose whichever way you want to go with that. Then you can complete the test, that is you can administer it to a child or to an entire classroom. Perhaps the most important thing is what you do with the scores that children obtain on this test afterwards. You now go back into the website and you enter them and you get a percentile rank. Now this percentile rank really allows you to interpret the performance of children on this test because what it tells you is how does the child you have just tested on the numeracy screener compare to a large group of children who are of a similar age, who are in a similar grade as your child. So you can see the relative performance of a child you've just tested on the numeracy screener to a larger population of children. That can tell you whether the child is doing just fine, whether they're performing like children who perform relatively low on the test or relatively high on the test. So the raw scores in and of themselves don't tell you anything with regards to how well children are doing, with regards to their age group, with regards to their grade. You need to obtain the percentile ranks and those percentile ranks allow you to meaningfully interpret the performance of a child you've just tested on the numeracy screener. The numeracy screener is designed for children from kindergarten through to third grade. So it can be taken by any child in that age range. A teacher or a parent might decide to administer the numeracy screener if they want to find out whether their child is doing fine in terms of their uh, basic numeracy skills, the foundational skills that we think form an important basis for high-level learning. 
So if you, for example, are a teacher and in your classroom you want to understand individual differences in how well children understand numerical quantity, both symbolically and non-symbolically, you can administer this type of measure. If you are a parent and you're worried about your child's early math skills, you can administer this measure. But know that it's not a diagnostic test. It's deliberately called a screener because it only can identify potential difficulties that would need to be followed up by more formal testing and more extensive testing to include tasks other than just symbolic and non-symbolic number comparison. So if a child has a very low percentile rank on the numeracy screener, it simply means that that child performs at the lower end of the distribution of children who've previously taken the numeracy screener. It does not mean that they have a specific learning difficulty. You would need to go and conduct further testing, in-depth testing perhaps with a school psychologist, to see whether there is a real problem here that requires special attention. The other thing that we recommend very strongly is that you administer the numeracy screener twice with at least a two-week gap in the middle to understand whether the performance of the child or the children that you're testing is reliable. The numeracy screener, I think, can be used in a variety of settings. The real advantage of the numeracy screener is that it is so easy to use. It's a paper and pencil test that can be easily printed off the website or be ordered through the website as well. So it's very easy to use. All you need is the numeracy screener, a stopwatch and pencils. So you can administer it in a classroom context. You can administer it to individual children. You can compare children before and after conducting a particular teaching intervention. Uh, you can uh, use it to track children over the course of a school year or over the course of the kindergarten uh, education. So there are multiple uses. Of course, it's also a research tool. We've been using it in research and we encourage other researchers to do so as well. It's a tool, a very quick tool that can be used to get a basic understanding of individual differences in one aspect of children's foundational numeracy skills.